What's up guys, Vladen here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Fury Warrior. I know it's been a, a little while since I've posted some Warrior content, so what better way to get back into it than playing twos with Vanguards? Uh, we played some Ret Fury twos, which is a blast. Um, we pumped it up to like 2300, 2400 MMR, which is really, really cool. Um, which means I'm going to be able to uh, start the Honor upgrade slowly on this Warrior. I've been, been still grinding the gear. We are almost fully geared. Um... We're getting there. We just got a few more pieces to upgrade, and then obviously I got to buy my uh, my upgraded legendary as well. But um, yeah, we we are close to max gear. Anyways, uh, huge shout out to Vanguard. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, he's the best retribution paladin in the world. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has the most rank ones, and uh, he has been my he's the guy that I follow to um, you know learn how to be a better retribution paladin. So if you guys want to check him out, I will leave his Twitch in the description. Uh, if you check him out feel free to say hi tell him i sent you and uh i will see you guys next video all right let's get into uh game one right here so it is against a holy priest acero which is surprisingly uh i think a doable comp for us so the plan that we had here was uh vanguards would just trinket bop the first vendetta um so he he actually doesn't have to trinket right here and he just gets the bop and dispels the uh Poison. So we're going to go ham on the rogue. I'm just going to focus on recovering and saving my wall as best I can because I'm running a battle transfer healing and I'm running impending victory. So we're going to hit impending victory, ignore pain, keep up our battle trance and do as much damage as we can. And the rogue shouldn't be able to kill us outside of a, uh, a kidney shot vendetta because we have so much sustain. Uh, the priest greater fades away so we cannot get any uh, CC on him. So we're just going to war stomp the rogue during his evasion and try and do a little bit more damage. So they overlap Cloak and Guardian Spirit right here into um, pretty much nothing. We're not really doing anything. So Vanguard gets a full Hodge, no Trinket on the Priest. And I'm coming out of this. I should be okay. He Ray of Hopes and runs away. Um, honestly, <clears throat> since we don't have a go going on right now, he should just, he should just attack through the Ray of Hope. Um, because the Rogue should be fine. Yeah, Rogue's fine right here. Uh, I have about 30 seconds till a fear, but we are just going to focus on um, sustaining until until then. <laughs> the uh, the priest grips the rogue on his kidney the one time he was going to be offensive, but I don't think he would be able to kill me there anyway. Another full hodge onto the priest. There's a vendetta. I'm going to go ahead and push my wall this time, and I have impending victory, and I have uh, enrage regen. And we are basically going to slay this rogue. He has no vanish, no evasion, and uh, we kill him through cheat death right there. Um, fairly fairly simple game. Uh, very I very much like this matchup as uh, as Rhett warrior and i think the hardest rogue version for us to fight honestly is probably sub because sub can kill uh while we're both stunned there um this match is against a uh, another double dps comp feral demonology warlock right here um basically my my thought process was whoever just gets pressure faster wins vanguard starts with a uh, hammer of justice on to the feral but he gets stunned with an axe toss so we're gonna go ahead and uh pressure the feral as much as we can while trying to catch the demon warlock I'm just going to blow up the Demon Warlock as best I can here with, uh, you know, Freedom, Conquer Banner, big damage. Our Reckless Abandon is going to give us good uptime on the uh, the Demon Warlock, and he is running out of mobility. That's his last mobility right there, so we're going to go ahead and um, hit the Feral until we can connect it back onto the Warlock. Probably going to trigger that stun there, kick the Fear, and then uh, attack through Thorns because he's so low, and down goes the Warlock. The Warlock ran all around the map, but we just slayed absolutely slayed him uh a repeating pattern you'll see in these upcoming videos are mostly demo locks demo locks are everywhere right now um i think they're they're really good i don't think they're as op as destro was last oh, i guess not last season but last patch before the nerfs uh but they're still really strong so my thought process here is kill the tyrant instantly and then train down the lock make sure the lock can't cast and uh our job should be not too difficult but uh this this lock again infinite mobility i go ahead and fear the priest while trying to slam the lock as best we can there's the uh unending resolve and uh and guardian spirit about to fade so now the warlock doesn't have too many defensive cooldowns left i believe they still have rave hope if they're running it but the priest might not be running it because he's uh you know maybe expecting us to tunnel him maybe he went divine ascension um so we're just going to keep tunneling into this warlock make sure he cannot cast because if he cannot cast he cannot build shards so he cannot spam his hand of Gul'dan. So interesting power infusion right here. 
Um, I wasn't sure if he had Tyrant up already or not, but uh, the Priest gives him Power Infusion, so we're just going to go ahead and line of sight, recover a little bit while it is ticking down. I get a full Flesh Craft and look to go back onto the uh, the Warlock right here. So now he gets he's trying to get his Tyrant out as the Power Infusion is fading. So he Tyrants into a Soul Rot into Hand of Gul'dan. So this is some interesting damage. I don't have a Kick or a Fear, so we're just going to try and focus on killing the Tyrant as quickly as possible. Vanguard has to bubble here, and he goes to stop the MD by himself, which is fine. Um, Raleigh's about to fall, but he should be able to recover behind the pillar if need be. Yep, he's just going to go pillar, and I still have my wall and everything, so I'm just going to go ahead and stay offensive. I didn't kick this mind control because we really don't need to uh, be having any pressure, and I figured it would protect me from damage from the Warlock while Vanguard's was recovering. Vanguard stuns the Hold Priest, and I go to uh, swap onto this lock. Unfortunately, it gets a full fear on Vanguard's and a full stun onto me, so I'm just chilling here, doing nothing in the meantime. Go ahead and impending victory off the pit while we are walking at the Warlock. I'm going to get a slow up onto the Warlock as soon as possible and uh, get feared once again. So many fears from this team, so much CC. They have two Axe Sauces, multiple fears. They have Coils, Shadow Fury. Um, I must be missing something. In Priest Incapacitate. Uh, yeah, they have a lot, a lot of CC. Um, coming up on this guy right here, I have Conquer Banner and Wreck. We're just going to pop it, see if we can get anything done right here. I don't think they have Guardian Spirit. Yeah, they don't have Guardian or Wall, so this guy should go down here, and that he does. We get a full Hodge onto the Priest and take up the Priest as well. Um, but yeah, just an example of how uh, small maps are advantageous to us. Lock can't kite super long distances, and we can go behind the box to recover if need be. And once again, another demo lock. Uh, like, none of these demo locks have been the same same uh, people either. So we're going to start here on to the demo lock. The druid's probably not going to be easy for us to attack unless he's standing right on top of us. There's the tyrant. I'm going to go ahead and focus on the tyrant right here. We're just going to kill it really quick. Lock ports. But uh, comes back out on our cooldowns instead of just running away. So we're going to stay on the lock. Lock, um, was that night fade away? I think he night fade. No, he gated away right there. So I'm going to go ahead and reflect the fear and just keep tunneling big damage onto him. We go ahead and Berserk Rage the fear. And now he Night Phase away. I'm just going to maintain my slow and uh, Blade Storm so he can't Axe Toss us if need be. I, don't, I get a double fear right here. And we just keep tunneling this lock. Even, even with this wall up, we just got to stay on him. Make sure we can stop as much damage as possible. Uh, it's honestly not looking too good for them at the moment. But um, the Warlock does get... Iron Barked, and he is able to recover along with a tree proc from the uh, Rest of Druid set bonus. So right here, I'm just sitting a fear until it breaks. We're going to charge back in, maintain our slow, try and maintain as many Slaughterhouse stacks as we can onto the Warlock. Um, it is a little bit tough to, uh, to maintain through Thorns, so I'm going to go ahead and Fletchcraft while he has Thorns up. And safeguard onto uh, vanguards right here to give him small damage reduction. The uh, warlock fake casts a <laughs> a pet a pet summon. So vanguards did end up killing the pet, or we cleaved it down. Um, so he is susceptible to dying. Uh, well, if the pet dies, we we can definitely uh, kill the warlock easier. But for now, I'm just trying to maintain slaughterhouse stacks, maintain my eight stacks, and uh, cleave the pet when possible. I have Wreck available, so I'm looking to pop it. This guy's getting low. Doing a bunch of damage. Unhealable. Doesn't have Barks in. Doesn't have Tree Form. Doesn't have Wall. And down the Warlock goes. All right. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to like, subscribe. Um, follow my Twitch, Twitter. And I will see you all next video. Be sure to check out Vanguard's stream. Rank 1 Red Paladin. Awesome streams. And uh, yeah. Peace, peace.